Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Yambi the Ferret, here with another episode of Rebuilding My Deck, and I am so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Uh, this this episode, uh, I knew that the next two episodes would have to be, like, done fast. Uh, so we have the Speed Duel Pack for... So we have uh, Rex Raptor and Weevil Underwoods Speed Duel decks. These are brand new, right off the shelf. Um, I, I just got them today, and at the same time, we just got... The Speed Duel Scars of Battle box. That is right. We got the box here. This is the newest pack of Speed Duel booster bo booster packs. Uh, so that's going to be done. I'm going to upload this video. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to upload it on Thursday because uh, Tuesday's 100% podcast. I can't do anything else. It's podcast day. But Wednesday, I'll be able to open up these packs and get the video edited and done and, and uploaded by Thursday, which is what I'm hoping to do. Uh, because this Friday is another episode of P2 and uh, Yemi Power Hour. Uh, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this on Thursday, so if you want to watch that, you can. I'm trying to hit the hit these while the iron's hot, because these are brand new packs. This is the first time I've had like brand new packs with me. So yeah, we're going to open up the Speed Duel the Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel Packs for Rex Raptor and Weevil Underwood. This one's called Ultimate Predators. Ultimate Predators. So the box is it's not too bad. Uh, this is the first Speed Duel Pack that only has two characters. The other one's had three. So we have Weevil Underwood and Rex Raptor on the front. And then just the regular stuff on the sides. And then on the back it shows you the list of cards. Along with, of course, the playmat. And some special pictures of things here. Um, this has two decks in it, uh, and one deluxe gaming mat. Oh boy. So I have not looked at the cards on, in these, uh, so I'm gonna be as surprised as you guys. I did not, I decided not to look up the cards or read the back of this box. I'm gonna guess that Weevil has, of course, Insect Queen, probably has Cocoon of Evolution. I'm thinking he has Petite, a Petite Caterpillar or something like that. Um, and then Rex, I have no clue what he would have. He's not really in the anime so much. Another thing I wanted to say before I forget. Before I forget, uh, this these packs actually don't have any Joey cards in them. So it's a little bit deceiving on the front having Joey on there. Just like with the Seto Kaiba packs called Attack from the Deep. Uh, they don't actually have like blue eyes or anything like that in them. It has more like Mako Tsunami and Joey stuff in that one. And this one has Rex Raptor, Weevil, and Bandit Keith. Bandit Keith of all people have has cards in these. He also Bones... Bones is back. He's in these as well with his zombie cards, so I'm really excited for those. So I'm like, I'm like, come on! <laughs> I want to do those. So here we go. We're gonna open up this first because uh, uh, that's just how that's just how I'm planning on doing it. Uh, so Ultimate Predators, two starter decks here: Weevil Underwood and Rex Raptor. So here we go. We're gonna slide slide to the left. Box is empty, so there's no like special cards in here except for the you know the decks. But we also have the the play mat. It's green. It's a little bit different from the other Speed Duel play mats, if I'm not mistaken. So this one has... Looks like Rex Raptor's uh, card. And then also has uh, Weevil's card in there. They're, they're top cards. On the back, it just kind of shows you uh, the standard rules for play. It also has another list of their cards in there as well. All right. You got that? Yeah, so it says both Rex Raptor and Weevil Underwood's decks can be changed to support each of the skills. Uh, and then also, choose your skills wisely. Blah, 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 blah. Like I said, the Speed Duel stuff is really speaking to me, being a OG Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Not, I'm not a fan of the newer stuff. Uh, I stopped watching after the original uh, run of the show. So, unfortunately, you know, sorry guys. <laughs> That's just that's just what I did. Decks are a little bit small, but they're about, I think they're about the same size as um, as the other Speed Duel decks. We just had three packs in those. These are only two. So we have the Weevil one and the Rex run. Just looks like their decks. So we're gonna open up uh, Rex Raptor first. I'm more interested in that one since I already did, I had a Weevil deck back in the past, back before my deck was stolen. <laughs> but I'm I'm not angry about that anymore. Let's go ahead and open this up, and we'll start looking at those cards. Wasn't there, like, a special way to open these? There is. Just gotta find it. I can't find it. I'm too stupid! <laughs> I'm just a stupid noob! Alright. I don't want to bend the cards. Jeez. Jeez, oh man. 
Ah, I think I found it. I found it. All right. We're not a stupid noob yet. We're close, but we're not there yet. All right, so on the front, like we've shown before, we just had the, oh, the plastic's on my finger. Get off. Off, mate. Fuck off, then. All right, so like I showed up before, on the front we have uh, Rex Raptor and his signature card. And then, oh, jeez. Okay, uh, so he has, a, like, a holographic in here. Order to charge. Target one non-token monster uh, you control. Tribute that normal monster. If you do, destroy one monster your opponent controls. Order the charge. Uh, I don't think the other ones had hollows this... De well, I guess the Dark Magic... Like, their regular cards did, but not a magic card like this. That's kind of cool. Next, we have a skill card for him. This is called Dinosaur Kingdom. All dinosaurs gain 300 attack and defense. So, looks like a nice prehistoric place. Nightmare Sonic Blast. Nightmare Sonic Blast. <laughs> Another skill card here. You can activate this skill while you control Serpent Knight Dragon. Once per turn, you can reveal the top four cards of your deck. Use one of the following skills depending on the number of monsters revealed. So, one monster, if you reveal one monster, it's add one of the revealed cards to your deck. If you reveal two monster cards, destroy one card your opponent controls. And if there's three or more, apply both of the effects. Then place the rest of the revealed cards on the top of your deck in any order. Nice. Not bad. And, oh, okay, so he only has two skill cards in his. So we have the Serpent Knight Dragon, which is his signature card. Remember, this was supposedly his rarest card during the Duelist Kingdom run. A dragon created from the soul of a wicked knight. Has 2,350 attack and 2,400 defense, so not even stronger than the Dark Magician. Two-headed King Rex. We've seen this one before. I've seen this one before. You're a bay. We've seen this one before, too. Not in the speed duels, but I've seen them. Uh, 1,500 attack. A basic dinosaur card. Another you're a bay. We got a crawling dragon. I've had this one before, too. Uh, 1,600 attack. 1,200 defense. Whoa. Tomo Zaris. Tomo Zaris. 500 attack and 400 defense. Not a great card there, but maybe it's used for something. Ooh, Anthrosaurus. Anthrosaurus. 1,000 attack? Okay, um, this is really weird. If you, I'm gonna read this to you as it's written. Dis man-like dinosaurs got a high IQ, even though he's lacking in does strength department. Kinda like yous, if you had a high IQ. Nyah. Get <laughs> Alright, we got Black Tyranno. Black Tyranno. This is a pretty cool looking card. Not too bad. I like the look of this card. It's an effect card, of course. If the only card your opponent controls are defense position monsters, this card can direct direct attack. Ooh, that's actually really good. Alright. There we go. Super Ancient Dino... Dino Beast. Super Ancient Dino Beast. You can tribute summon this card in face-up attack position by tripping one dinosaur monster. When a dinosaur monster is special summoned from your graveyard while this monster is on the field, except during the damage step, you can draw one card. Alright. Kind of cool. Next, we have the Mad Sword Beast. Mad Sword Beast. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing battle damage. Not bad. Kind of looks like a rhinoceros. What does that say? Gillosaurus. Gillosaurus. It, it's pretty much just a raptor. I don't know why they just call it raptor. <laughs> I'm too smart for these cards. You can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, activate this effect. Your opponent can special summon one monster from their graveyard. Alright. I guess that's kind of, a, you know, if you activate that effect, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a, really like the best card. <laughs> Alright, we have Gale Lizard. Gale Lizard. It's a flip effect. Target one monster your opponent controls and return that target to the hand. Not bad. Gale Lizard. Dark... 
Triceratops. Dark di Triceratops. It's like a bird dinosaur eating a plant there. If this card attacks defense position monster, inflict battle piercing damage. So, not bad. It's almost like his signature card isn't as good as some of these other ones. I would I would have... I mean, if I was making this deck, I would probably put the Black Tyranno at the top. You know? Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever! <laughs> Alright, Hyper Hammerhead. Hyper Hammerhead. At the end of the battle step, if an opponent's monster that battled this card is not destroyed, return that opponent's monster to the hand. Okay. I don't know how many monsters would face this card and not win. It has 1,500 tag and 1,200 defense. No. I don't know. All right. Element Saurus. Element Saurus. It's kind of like a dinosaur breathing. Breathing out fire. Gains the following effects while there are monsters with the following attributes on the field. Fire. This card gains 500 attack. Earth. Negate the effects of effect monsters destroyed by battle with this card. Good defense against your man and your bugs. We have Black Stego. Black Stego. So it's pretty much just a Stegosaurus. If this attack position card is targeted for an attack, change this card to defense position. Oh, okay. Not bad. Whoa, what the hell? Gentle Mander. Gentle Mander. It's kind of like uh, one of those underwater salamander type guys. What are they called? Ex Expert? I don't even know how to say it. It's kind of like a... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. Your opponent's monsters cannot attack any monsters except this one. Interesting. Alright, we have Ra Raise Body Heat. Raise Body Heat. It goes only to a mo dinosaur monster. It, attain it, it gains 300 attack and defense. Ultra Evolution Pill. Ultra Evolution Pill. Kind of a cool looking card. Tribute one reptile monster. Special summon one dinosaur monster from your hand. Uh, space time transcendence. Space time transcendence. Banish two or more dinosaur monsters from your graveyard. Special summon one dinosaur monster from your hand or graveyard whose level equals the total levels of those banished monsters, but it cannot attack this turn. Not bad. Next. Cost down. We've seen this one so many times. Uh, it's this card, one card, for the rest of the turn, reduce the levels of all monsters in your hand by two, even if they are summoned. So it's, it's not bad. We've seen them in the uh, legendary Kaiba packs. Or well, not the legendary, but the old starter Kaiba packs, whatever they were called. Uh, Legacy... No, not Legacy Duelists. Um... But uh, we, we have more of those packs coming, and we're going to get, like, two more of these. Spoiler alert. All right, Summoner's Art. Yeah, Summoner's Art. So he's kind of like a dude with a staff in the middle of a vortex, almost. Add one level five or higher normal monster from the deck to your hand. Next. White Elephant's Gift. Uh, I don't... Why? Why? <laughs> we got... There are so many of these in the Arena of Lost Souls packs. I don't... Send one face-up non-effect monster you control to the graveyard and then draw two cards. Well, I guess this is good to use uh, for those weaker cards that we that we had at the beginning. Heat wave. Like an asteroid's hitting the earth. There's one dinosaur that's completely skeletons. Uh, a, completely a bones and all that in the back there. <laughs> at the start of your main phase, one. Neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters until your next draw phase. Card Advance. Card Advance. Look at the top five cards from the top of your deck, then place them on the top of the deck. In any order. You can tribute summon one monster in addition to your normal summon set this turn. You can only gain you can only gain this effect once per turn. Alright. Next, we have another card advance. And we're into traps now, so hunting instinct. Hunting instinct. When a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, except during the battle step, summon special summon one dinosaur monster from your hand. Okay, so that could be a good way to get some of those higher level monster dinosaurs on your on your uh, your field there. Reinforcements. This is a classic. 
Target one face-up monster in the field. It gains 500 attack until the end of the turn. It's a really good card. And I like the look of it, too. Pharaoh's Treasure. Pharaoh's Treasure. Shuffle this card face-up into your deck. If you draw this face-up card that was added to the deck by this effect, send it to the graveyard. Then target one card in your graveyard. Accept this card and add that target to your hand. And finally, here we have Limit Impulse, which is one we've seen plenty of times. Uh, send two cards from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon two soul tokens. Uh, they cannot be tributed except for a tribute summon. Alright, so his deck's not awful. His deck's not awful. Uh, to you people who like to use the dual links thing, uh, there's like a little code on the back there. I don't know if you can... It's a QR code. I think that's just to download the game. So it's just an advertisement there. Just an advertisement. So that's not going to be in the deck at all. But yeah, pretty cool. Uh, not too bad of a deck. Um, I like the dinosaur stuff. Uh, we haven't really seen like a Rex Raptor thing in a, in a while, so I'm happy that they gave him his own deck. I would have liked to have seen Bandit Keith in this in this, uh, in this this set, you know? Uh, Weevil and Rex are cool, but you know, Bandit Keith is also another one of those big players who really doesn't get as much love as he deserves. I'm not just saying that because he's American and I'm American. <laughs> Alright, so I found the secret opening. There we go. So this is Weevil, Weevil Underwood's deck. On the front there, he has the insect queen behind him, and he's standing there looking like a G. Uh, so the first thing, once again, we have a holographic card on the front that's not like uh, his normal card, like Insect Queen, which is weird to me. It's called Jar of Arvice. Target five cards in your graveyard except for a Jar of Arvice and shuffle all five into the deck, then draw one card. You can only activate one Jar of Arvice for a turn. This is actually a really good card. Jar of Arvice. I like the look of that. Alright, so here's his first skill card called Hyper Metamorphous. Hyper Metamorphous. You can activate this skill while you control a level 3 or lower insect normal monster. Discard two cards and tribute one level 3 or lower insect normal monster you control to special summon one perfectly ultimate great moth from your hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Any damage your opponent takes for the rest of the turn is halved. Interesting. And then the other one, Hidden Parasite. And he's kind of doing a, a face there. Once per turn, you can change all monsters on the field to insect until the end of the turn. Also, any battle damage your opponent takes is halved for the rest of the turn. You may use the skill up to twice per duel. All right. So, of course, we have the perfectly ultimate Great Moth here on the front. I thought we were going to get the Insect Queen on the front. I guess not. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm wrong. That's not the Insect Queen. That is the perfectly Great Moth. I'm a stupid noob! Oh. <laughs> Cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by tributing one Petite Moth on your sixth turn or later after it was equipped with Cocoon of Evolution. Normal, normal stuff there. And there's our petite moth. A big insect. <laughs> oh, boy. Basic insect. Winged cleaver. What does that say? Ku kumu? Kumu toko. Kumu toko. Allen section? Allen section? That's a weird weird one. Oh! <laughs> Insect Queen is in this deck! They got me good! <laughs> Insect Queen! This card gains 200 attack for every insect monster on the field. Cannot declare an attack unless you tribute one monster. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card destroyed an opponent's monster by battle, uh, special summon one insect monster token, just like Duelist City! So there we go, the... The big titty insect woman. Alright, Cocoon of Evolution. Uh, you can target one petite moth you control. Equip this card from your hand to that target. While, equi while equipped by this effect, the original attack and defense of petite moth becomes uh, that of Cocoon of Evolution. It has 2,000 defense. Man Eater Bug. We haven't seen this one in a while. This was a staple of Bakura's deck. Uh, this is a flip effect, so you can target one monster in the field and destroy it. Man-eater bud. Bug. 
but Man Eater Bug. Not a bad card. Pinch Hopper. Pinch Hopper. When this card you control is sent to your graveyard, you can special summon one insect monster from your hand. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Uh, insect Princess. Insect Princess. Um, she ain't no Disney princess. All insect monsters your opponent controls are changed to attack position. If this card destroys an insect monster by battle, this card gains 500 attack. And it already has 1,900, so that's a pretty good card. Go Gokipon? Gokipon. Interesting. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can add one insect monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. Not bad. We have another one. Same thing, a Gokupon. Gokipon. B-list soldier. I'll get it, because it's a B. Ha ha. You contribute this card and one face-up insect monster except B-list soldier. Draw two cards. I don't know if that's really a great effect. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think so. What do we got? Beatron. It's a B robot. Beatron. You can send one face-up spell or trap card you control to the graveyard, then target one level four or lower insect monster in your graveyard. Special summon that insect monster in defense position. You can only use the effect of Beatron once per turn. Maybe it's more of a beetle. Kind of looks more like a beetle now that I look at it. All right, we're into the spell cards. This is Laser Cannon Armor. Laser Cannon Armor. Equip only to an insect monster. It gains 300 attack and defense. Uh, forest. Uh, this should be a field card. Yeah, all insect, beast, plant, and beast warrior monsters on the field gain 200 attack and defense. Forest. Uh, Verdant Sanctuary. Verdant Sanctuary. When a face-up insect monster is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, its controller can add one insect monster with the same level as the destroyed monster from the deck to their hand. Insect Neglect? Yeah, Insect Neglect. <laughs> okay. When your opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish one insect monster from your graveyard to negate the effect or the attack. Eh, not bad. Worm bait? Worm bait. If you control an insect monster, special summon two worm tokens. You cannot normal or special summon any level three or four monsters you, you the turn you activate this card. Alright. Next. Enhancing fitting room. It's a strange one. Pay 800 life points. Excavate the top four cards from your deck and special summon all excavated level three or lower normal monsters. Also, after that, shuffle the rest into your deck. Weird. Dark Factory of Mass Production. It's like a little goblin guy, girl. Uh, <laughs> target two normal monsters in your graveyard. Add them to your hand. That's uh, not bad. Not bad card at all. Amulet of Ambition. Amulet of Ambition. Equip only to a normal monster. If it battles a monster with a higher level, the equipped monster gains 500 attack times the difference in levels during that damage calculation only. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can place it on the top of your deck. Not a bad card indeed. It kind of looks like Starro. White Elephant's Gift. So send one face-up non-effect monster you control to the graveyard to draw two cards. We've gotten too many of these. Eradicating Aerosol. All right. Destroy all insect monsters on the field. Uh -huh. Spider Egg. The trap card. When your opponent declares an attack, a direct attack, while you have three or more insect monsters in your graveyard, negate the attack. And if you do, special summon three spider tokens in attack position. Corrosive Scales. Corrosive Scales. Has like, um... Has Gaia the Dragon Rider and the Great Moth there doing a little face-off. Target one insect monster you control. Equip this card to it. While you control the equipped monster, your opponent monsters cannot attack insect monsters except the equipped monster. 
While this card is equipped to a monster, each time your opponent normal or special summons a monster, or activates a card or effect, place one scale counter on each face-up monster they control. Each monster your opponent controls with 100 attack and defense... Oh, I'm sorry. Loses 100 attack and defense for each scale counter it has. Ooh, okay. Next, we have Adhesive Trap Hole. Adhesive Trap Hole. When your opponent summons a monster, have the monster's original attack. That's kind of a gruesome looking one, because the guy's like face is stuck in there. And on the end, we have Order to Smash. Target one level 2 or lower non-token monster you control. Tribute the normal monster, and if you do, destroy up to two spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Spell or trap cards, I should say. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So, all in all, not too bad of decks, I would say. Uh, nice little additions to my collection. Um, yeah, I, there's not much to say about these ones, because... Um, I haven't really, I haven't really ever used dinosaur cards or or insect cards. I think this one is a little bit more. I don't know. They're both pretty well put together, especially with uh, Rex's spe uh, spell and trap cards that he has to get like some of his higher monsters on the field without having to do much. This one, Weevil's deck is more of like one of those slow burn type of decks where you have to kind of wait for you know the cocoon to evolve or you have to wait for this or that. Um, so sometimes might not be as fast of a duel as they are expecting, but not bad, not bad. Um, what do you guys think of these decks? Rex and Weevil here. I, I mean, they're okay. I feel like they could have put in some different cards than, like, like Limit Impulse you got from the Arena Lost Souls, I'm pretty sure, and also that White Elephant's Gift is one you got from that as well, so I don't know why they would throw those into the actual decks. Um, that's kind of a little disappointing to me, but at least the Speed Duel packs have all had new cards in them. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. I hope to see you in the next episode when we open up the Scars of Battle Booster Box. See ya.